For Ed Commuta, the Titanic has been a lifelong obsession. As founder and president of the Titanic Historical Society, he has turned his boyhood fascination into a museum which chronicles the world's most infamous maritime disaster. The origins of the museum are startling. After writing to many of the survivors of the Titanic, Ed realized there was no central location for survivors of the sinking to donate their personal belongings to. It's uh, quite surprising that all of them were very much interested in this. Uh, they were getting on in years and their memories were beginning to fade about the uh, tragedy and we wanted to get their memories as uh, quickly as we could uh, before they faded out of existence. And a lot of them were f really relieved that someone was willing to take the responsibility to take care of their precious artifacts. However, out of all of the relics and mementos donated to the museum, what you will not find at the Titanic Historical Society are artifacts which have been salvaged from the wreck since its discovery in the fall of 1985 by Dr. Robert Ballard. We want nothing to do with salvaged items. To us, it re represents a grave site, and I know of at least three survivors of the Titanic who have since died and had their ashes scattered over the wreck site. And Dr. Robert Ballard was kind enough to put a plaque down on the stern of the ship in memory of Bill Tandem, who was our former president, and also for the memory of the 1,500 souls that perished in the disaster. From plates and dishes to the shipyard blueprints of the Titanic, the museum contains some of the greatest treasures related to the sinking of the vessel, including the original ice warning received by the Titanic, warning it of impending icebergs in her path. The wireless message is very important because this was sent to the Titanic, but it was never delivered to the bridge. They were just too busy at the time, and so they simply spiked this message. And it tells of the positions of two icebergs that the uh, people from the America had seen, and Titanic eventually hit one of those two bergs. What is the legacy of the Titanic? Is it, has it yet to be determined, or has the story already been told? The story has been told and retold t again and again, and uh, I guess what you're getting nowadays is the revisionist history. Uh, people are talking about the brittle steel and the poor rivets that the uh, poor quality rivets that the Titanic had. This is all nonsense. I mean, she was uh, built on a cost plus basis and had battleship quality steel, and it was just that she was not built to ram an iceberg. Now, for more information on visiting the museum or becoming a member of the Titanic Historical Society, you can visit their website at titanic1.org.